Uh, welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a little bit short. So we are going to be making a GPS icon in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so we come here to the shape tools. We go to Eclipse, Eclipse tool. Let's set the color to black. Then draw one to Eclipse tool. Then after we go down to the polygon tool. So we, when we go to each tool we select, it brings different settings here. So what we do, we come here to the sides, we make them free. So when we make them three sides, so that means we are going to draw a triangle. A triangle is a shape with three sides. So let's say we have drawn our triangle like that. So after that, we move it so that it fits fits very well with our direct select tool we use the direct select tool to select we use the direct select tool to select a vat then move it in so that it matches very well so we have been able to make that but we need to put a hole inside so we select these two shapes we can come here convert them to a smart object then after still we go to the eclipse tool we draw a circle in between our shape then we try to center it with our circle then afterwards We can uh, rationalize th this layer. Then, speaking about this, then go to the thumbnail, to the th thumbnail here on the layer panel. Select Control, then left click into this thumbnail space. Then here, the circle will be highlighted. But when you look here, it's not selected. So we select this polygon shape, the one we first created. After that, come select the marquee tool, right click, then layer via cut. So layer via cut will cut after that, it will cut this polygon tool with uh, this polygon shape we first created. So when we delete it, so when we delete it, it will create a hole inside. So when we come here and give it a red color, GPS icons are. So when we give it a red color, we will be able to create a very good icon. We can even come here. Uh, we give it a shadow. Let's reduce its capacity. Then after we can come here, we create a right click on the FX, create layer. Then it will create the layer for drop shadow. Then you can come here, hold on your keyboard, then move our shadow then you can move our shadow to anywhere you want center it and try to match it very well here so you can even come here give it a gaussian blur it's of that percentage then you can also reduce its opacity we have created a GPS icon. So thank you for watching today's tutorial. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button so that you can receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Thank you.